All right, this is the normal anatomical position of the stomach. Uh, it's relatively featureless. Here we have the lesser curvature of the stomach, the angular incisura, incisura angularis, yes, incisura angularis, leading to the first part of the duodenum here. This is the greater curvature of the stomach. Okay. We can see this is uh, the lower part of the esophagus joining with the first part of the stomach. Okay. This is the fundus, the body, the uh, antrum, and the pylorus. Uh, we can f uh, first talk about the arteries. Uh, they are relatively easy. This is the left gastroepiploic artery. Okay. This is the right gastroepiploic artery. You can see they are going along the greater curvature of the stomach. Here, this is the left gastric artery. And this is the right gastric artery. They are going along the lesser curvature of the stomach. The uh, short gastric arteries, I believe they're not drawn because they're supposed to supply the fundus. They also come from the splenic artery. If we open the stomach, uh, just mainly we can see the rugi, the folds of mucosa inside the stomach. That's basically what's up. 